Hello everyone, welcome to my walkthrough of question 9 for the Spring 2019 MAS-1 exam. Let's get started. Given the following information about a 40-state Markov chain, the states are numbered 0 to 39, P subscript M comma N is the one-step transition probability from state M to state N, P subscript 0 comma 0 is 50%, P subscript 0 comma I is 178th for 1 to 39. P subscript I comma 0 is equal to 1 over 39 for I equal 1 to 39. P subscript I comma I plus 1 is equal to 38 over 39 for 1 through 39. And then finally, P subscript 39 comma 1 is equal to 38 over 39. Calculate the long run probability of being in state 0. For this problem, the only uh, mathematical formula you need to really have memorized is that xp equals x for long run probabilities. Um, so what this means is uh, what is your current state is defined as this x on the left, and then p is the transition matrix. So we're going to have to build, according to the problem, a 40 state transition matrix. So that's a 40 by 40 matrix saying what's the probability that given your starting from this position, you'll transition to this other position. Um, so that's what this P is. And you want to find X such that when you take your current state and then multiply by the probabilities that you go to the next state, that it equals itself. So that makes sense, right? If, if you do this transition over and over and over again, eventually if it stabilizes at some point, that's because wherever it's at, multiplied by the transition matrix will return itself back. Um, so that's why this formula is written out the way that it is. For the problem specifically, uh, I actually found a bit of a shortcut. Um, I'm, I, I hope I'm thinking about this right. I end up getting the correct answer. Um, but I didn't want to have to deal with a 40 by 40 matrix. And for this question, all we care about is the probability of being in state 0. Uh, so I chose to think of this instead of as a 40 state problem as being a 2 state problem. You're either in state 0 or you're not in state 0. So if we want to approach the problem this way we have to um, calculate those probabilities that fill out that 2 by 2 transition matrix. Um, so f for the first one, given your in state 0, what are the chances you're going to stay in state 0? Um, that is actually given to us and that's 50%, so we already know that. The next moving part is given you're in state 0, what's the probability you go to not 0? Well, uh, given you're in state 0, what are all the possibilities? It's just you stay in 0 or you don't stay in 0. And since we already have one of them, 1 half, I know that this other probability is just 1 minus that, and so that's also going to be 1 half. So next, the, the kind of hard part in, in terms of thinking about this problem is how do I get one of these two numbers? So given you're not 0, what is the probability you go to 0? Uh, and so for that, we can look at, um, for i, what's the probability you go 2, 0 is just 1 over 39, and that's the case for all of them. So I, we actually are given this, and we know it's the same for all of them because of this list. Uh, so I just knew that I don't care whether your i equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever. No matter what, the probability you go to state 0 from that state is 1 over 39. Uh, so that's how you get this 1 over 39. And then likewise, you could have done the same with 38 over 39, or you can just at this point do 1 minus that value. Uh, so now that we have these four numbers, uh, this is just rewriting it in that matrix notation. Um, so that way we can then uh, do the actual multi matrix multiplication. So the rows correspond to the initial state, and then the columns correspond to the going to that state. Um, so that's something else you need to keep in mind. Um, and then really it's just jumping into a system of equations at this point. Uh, 
So what we have here is x times p equals x, so that's what we had above. Um, and then we know that whatever x is, those long run probabilities are going to be, a is going to be the long run probability of being in state 0, whereas b is the long run probability of being in not state 0. Um, so given that that's what that is, long run probabilities, we know that they must sum to 1. So we're going to be using that restriction later on. However, before that, we can just plug in for x this matrix A and B, and then do matrix multiplication. So this A, B, multiplied by our P matrix up here, needs to equal uh, the A and B um, on the right side of this equation. So doing that uh, just results in what you see here. So A times 1 half plus B times 1 over 39 needs to equal A. And then A times this 1 half plus B times 38 over 39 needs to equal B. Just doing matrix multiplication. Uh, we then, let me see, what did I do here? to b oh so uh, for this left equation I'm just taking uh, subtracting a over 2 from both sides and then multiplying both sides by 2 to simplify this equation so I now know what a equals in terms of b what you can then do is copy and paste this equation we have right here a equals 2b over 39 and then I'm just going to subtract 1 from both sides so on the right side, I'm literally subtracting the number 1. Uh, and then on the left side, I'm going to subtract a plus b. Because again, we know that these are probabilities that must sum to 1. In doing so, these a's cancel. And then I have a negative b on the left. So then I just add b to both sides, and I add 1 to both sides. So I can kind of swap the sides of the b and the 1. And that's how we get this formula here of 1 equals 2b over 39 plus b. You can then solve for b and you get this 0.9512. And then finally, again, b is the probability of being in a state other than 0. And that's not what we wanted. We wanted the long run probability of being in state 0. So for that, we just once again refer to this formula uh, and then do 1 minus that. And that's how we get our final answer of 0 0.04878. Scrolling back up, that falls in the range specified by a. So that's our final answer. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed these videos or find them helpful, please consider subscribing. Thanks. Have a good one.